Okay, in the room somewhere. I don't know where I'm at. I want to find out. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Rob Hartman. And you are? I'm the LBC manager for voice print here in the lovely office of Fredericton, 124 St. John Street. What's voice print? Uh, voice print is a service that provides news and information for the visually impaired. So <coughs> basically what we do is we have volunteers that come down to the offices. Uh, and we have news stories from the various newspapers right across Canada. And basically all they do is they sit down, they read the news source or read the news stories, and then from there we send them to our head office where they go out on a national feed. You mean you read the Irving paper? <laughs> we read all newspapers, including uh, those outside of New Brunswick. So uh, yes, we read Irving newspapers and uh, and others. But yes, the uh, the Telegraph Journal, the Gleaner, all of them are also on our uh, reading list. They don't read blogs. We don't read blogs. No. I don't. I don't blame you. It's all bullshit anyway. <laughs> Uh, I could say that. It's, it's, I, I, was, I told the Governor General I was the biggest blogger in New Brunswick, and I was also the biggest bullshitter in the whole province. You know, they go hand in hand. Okay, so to run an outfit like this, uh, you need volunteers. We do. Um, on a regular basis, we need probably between 20 and 30 volunteers, and that's just bare bones volunteers. If we could have uh, a volunteer pool of probably 40 to 60, it would be excellent. The reason we'd like to have more is the more people that read, the more stories can be covered. And it's called a dual read, where we have two people in our studios. One reads one story, one reads the other. And it's just easier on the ears of the listener. So, yeah, it's like anywhere else. Uh, volunteers are our lifeblood, and we definitely, uh, we definitely need some. And in the next little while, you're going to see us uh, out trying to get uh, many more volunteers. How many people go to your site or use VoiceBrint? Uh, VoiceBrint on a national level, the numbers are in between 5 to 8 million people. Really? Yeah, yeah surprisingly it's, uh, it's quite a high number. Not only those that are uh, visually impaired, but there's also our seniors, those that find the newspaper it's just too small to read. Uh, those that their literacy levels aren't uh, strong enough to read the newspaper. Uh, a large percentage, uh, and it's increasing almost on a daily basis, are folks that are English second, second language. So we have people who have just moved to this country who would like to learn English. They utilize our service as a means to uh, help them learn English and uh, move on from there. How many people would, read, would use a site here in New Brunswick? Uh, well, that's a, that's a good question. I actually literally just got off the phone with head office and that was one of the things. How do we find out which shows are popular and which ones aren't? And uh, head office is working on a way to track numbers. Right now we can track off of our website uh, and those numbers are great. Their numbers are probably about, they show you between two and 3,000 people will, will access the site on a, uh, on a daily basis. But it's, that's just the website. It doesn't mean how many people are accessing us uh, on, the, on, say, Rogers Digital Cable or Bell. Uh, and actually, uh, I'll give you uh, some information on where people can obtain the information, uh, either on digital t uh, cable or on their televisions or on the website. And if you get the opportunity, you can throw that in with your blog along with this. That would be great. It would really help out. Oh, it's better than nerving paper. That's redemption. <laughs> um, what does a volunteer do? Uh, a volunteer, it's really, it's quite, uh, quite easy. An hour and a half, an hour a week. Uh, they a come week? In. Uh, yep. Well, you can do it as much as you want. If you'd like to come in more than that, great. Some people come in uh, w once or twice a month. Most of our volunteers uh, volunteer about an hour, an hour and a half a week. Uh, they come in. Here's an example. Uh, they'll just, we have stories that are already prepared for them. We set them down, they head down into the studios, they read the stories uh, to make a show. A show, a perfect show is 26 and a half minutes long. That's it. Then from there, they give them back to us. Thank you very much. They go on their way. We have a little chit chat before and after. It's very sociable in here as well. Uh, and then from there, we uh, move on and I send stuff uh, after editing it up and we do all that tech foolishness. But basically, a volunteer just comes in and reads stories. Well, you can't have a wimpy voice like, like myself. Uh... <laughs> you would be amazed how many voices uh, we can use and 
that's more that we can use than that we can't. Uh, so if you think that you have, like you said, a wimpy voice, uh, leave it up to us. Let us decide. Come on in. Uh, there's a what, really a, French, what a French accent? Come on. Uh, matter of fact, we have uh, a reader with a, a very strong French accent. Oh, and, really? And she is a, she's a university student. She's home right now. Uh, but when she comes back in, she uh, she's re read for us for a few months already back during the school year. So not only a strong French accent, she's also uh, has a, a visual impairment. Uh, and is an excellent reader, is a very good reader. So, you know what? Come in and let us decide if uh, your wimpy voice is something that we could use or not. It's a really easy audition process. Uh, we'll set you up, takes about 10 minutes, and uh, next thing you know, you could be helping people right across the country. And it's a great way for an immigrant or somebody that's French or whatever, native, even native, or Chinese, to learn English. Sure is. Uh, like I said, uh, that's the that falls under the English second language category of our listeners, and it's uh, becoming quite prevalent. But you could read it. If they read it, and then uh, well, you, you could know. you could. I wouldn't say those that have. Uh, like I said, with the audition process, yeah. there are there's a, a a barrier or a boundary of just how strong an accent. Where as long as most people can understand you and you can get through the audition process, great. So I have to say once again, come on in and uh, have a little chat with myself or Nick, and we will. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll show you the world of voice print. Anybody wants to volunteer, what do they do? Uh, you know what, come on down, 124 St. John Street, or look up voiceprintcanada.com. Uh, here in Fredericton, it's 455-6860. Uh, give us a call, drop us an email. What's your email? Uh, you know what, I'll give you a card that has all that information, and you can throw it on there, because it's like rob.hart on that accessiblemedia.com. Okay. It's more information than what you need. Uh, what you need. Uh, but we'll give you all the information for you to come in. And uh, my ad is right next door to the Centennial Building, right there. That's right. It gives me the great opportunity to see all the, the hard-working New Brunswick... Uh, politicians? The politicians you working just, hard. You and, just uh, blew this, this interview. You were doing so well. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it was difficult to say even without, uh, without laughing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great view. If the tree pushed over a little more, I wouldn't have to see any of the building. I know, I know. Listen, I'll uh, give it a shot. On, on, on the blog. Perfect. All right. Talk to you later. Okay, buddy. Thanks a lot.